The story begins with the young boy, Wakana Gojo, who is pleased and inspired by his grandfather Karu's skills in making Hina dolls. But due to his obsession with Hina dolls, his friends end their friendship and disapprove of his love of dolls as a girly thing. Now Gojo has become a high school student, but he does not make new friends and keeps his hobbies hidden until he meets Marin Kitagawa, a popular classmate who changes his life thoroughly. When he's cleaning the classroom, Marin arrives there and tells him that he needs to be honest about his feelings. Later that night, Gojo notices that his sewing machine does not work and decides to use the one at the school. The following day at school, while he's using the sewing machine, Marin suddenly arrives there and becomes stunned to see him. Gojo thinks Marin will laugh at him, but she admires his work and shows him the outfit she created. She asks for his help in creating the cosplay of Shizuku Kuro. Gojo agrees to help Marin, but admits he has never made human clothes before. Marin explains Gojo about the erotic video game Slippery Girl and her desire to cosplay as Shizuku Tan. She then explains that being a girl or a boy does not matter when you really like something and gives Gojo a beginner's guide to making cosplay outfits. Marin unexpectedly arrives at Gojo's house the following day as she cannot wait until Monday to become Shizuku-tan. Gojo asks her if there is any other person who can take her measurements naked, but undaunted, Marin reveals that she's wearing a bathing suit under her clothes and asks Gojo to take her measurements. Gojo feels embarrassed while taking her measurements, but then throws his dirty thoughts aside and begins measuring Marin more professionally. After that, Marin gives him the game as a reference for Shizuku-tan. The following day at school, Marin treats Gojo as frankly as outside the school and introduces him to her friends. But when he overhears some students talking about how Gojo could be her boyfriend, he starts avoiding Marin the whole day and runs away. When she catches him, she assures him that they are friends and takes him to buy some clothes and a wig for the cosplay. Later that night, they go to a ramen shop and embarrass other customers there as they talk about Shizuka-tan. While returning home, Marin shows Gojo some photos of cosplays on the internet and tells him about the upcoming cosplay event occurring in two weeks. Gojo becomes stressed and thinks about how he'll be able to complete it in this short time. When he goes home, his grandfather falls over and hurts his back. Gojo takes him to the hospital where doctors tell his grandfather to take complete rest. Gojo's cousin Mirori joins them at the hospital and takes his grandfather with her. The following day at school, Gojo explains the situation to Marin and then they exchange their phone numbers. Gojo becomes stressed and tired because of the work burden, but he pushes his limits and completes Marin's outfit in three days. The next day, Gojo texts Marin that he has finished her costume. When Marin sees her costume, she starts crying and claims she doesn't not plan to go to the event, but Gojo calms her down. After that, Marin can get dressed in the costume, looks so great in the costume, and that she's able to be Shizuku-tan. Dressed in Shizuku-tan cosplay, Marin asks Wakan to click her photos. Later, she immediately creates the account and uploads pictures under her name. On the day of the cosplay event, Marin is excited seeing all the people cosplaying their favorite characters. Soon, many people came to take Marin's pictures, which made her feel amazing. After the photographs, Marin told Wakan that she was sweating a lot. Wakan takes Marin to a nearby building and offers her cool patches and a towel. On the way back home, Wakan compliments Marin that at the event she was looking beautiful, which astonishes Marin as he only compliments beautiful if he likes something by heart. Marin washes Shizuku-tan wig at Wakana's house. When his grandfather arrives home, he becomes shocked to see Marin standing behind Gojo. Later, Gojo clears the situation to Karu. Karu compliments the dress that Gojo sewed. Soon, Marin is offered dinner at Gojo's place afterwards. On a rainy day, a girl, Shajuna, comes to Gojo's house and demands him to make her Shion Nakado's Black Liddy cosplay from Flower Princess Blaze anime. However, Gojo agrees to prepare the cosplay. Marin's proposal to perform a group cosplay is turned on by Juju until Marin and Gojo agree to divide the studio expenses. Later that night, Gojo's grandfather compliments him on his progress and encourages him to work with Marin on his tailoring and cosmetics talents. Gojo comes to Marin's place the next day, where he finds her disheveled, making Gojo all shy and red. Marin realizes she's on a home date with Gojo while watching the series together. Her stomach grumbles at this point and Gojo offers to make something for her. After returning home, Gojo contacts Juju and sends her his comprehensive designs. She reveals about her younger sister who takes her pictures. They agree to meet at a restaurant before they hang up. 
Gojo and Marin, on the other hand, are astounded by Shinju, Inui's big chest size, when they meet her. Shinju hands Marin the camera she uses to photograph Juju and it proceeds to explain the various filters and settings. After that, they go to the studio housed in an abandoned hospital. Inside, Shinju explains to Marin the advantages of backlit photographs. Meanwhile, Gojo encounters scared Juju and the two share their dreams. However, Gojo enthusiastically holds Juju's hand, which leads her to pass out. After they finish their finals at school, Marn invites Gojo to the beach where Marn enters the water to enjoy while Gojo reveals about never visiting such places due to his hobby. Marn invites him to take him further to such sites while later she swoons about the situation before going to take a picture of Gojo. Gojo and Marn return from the store with the black lobelia costume materials. Marin then shows Gojo a bikini she's wearing underneath her clothing and asks whether he thinks it's appropriate for the cosplay which embarrasses Gojo. Later Gojo presents Juju and Marin with their finished outfits before taking them to the hospital for the picture shoot. Shinju stuns the girls with a male cosplay outfit when they eventually arrive. It is revealed in the flashback that at the first day in the hospital, on Gojo's concern, Shinju confesses she also wishes to cosplay as Soma, a male character from Flower Princess Blaze. Gojo tried everything he could to make her appear like Soma, and he succeeded, surprising everyone and leading them to shoot photographs with delight. Marin and Inui, sisters, do their picture sessions in the hospital. After finishing, Juju and Shinju return home, where Juju confesses to Shinju about getting envious of all her ability to pull off such a costume. Later, Marin subsequently shows an interest in cosplaying as Veronica, a dark-skinned character to which Gojo agrees to prepare. On the other hand, Marin shows up at Gojo's place the next day, her complexion thoroughly blackened with a foundation to match Veronica's. Marin takes Gojo shopping, however Gojo states he does not want to prepare Veronica's costume while going back. After being acquired by Marin, he clarifies the costume is too exposing, which relieves her as he seems serious and she decides to pick her characters more carefully. Gojo is invited to a manga cafe by Marin, but he is embarrassed to be alone with her. Marin recommends Sukaidk to Gojo while passing the time and expresses her desire to cosplay as Liz, the succubus. Later, Gojo discovers the studio where Marin scheduled the picture session is actually a love hotel. Marin ends up sitting on top of Gojo while reenacting several manga positions. When Gojo tries to get Marin off of him, he grips her wrist instead, creating an awkward situation. When Gojo returns home and is alone in his room, he sobs over the entire incident. While Gojo is helping Marin with her hair ribbons at her apartment, he learns that her father has cancelled her invitation to a summer festival since she has not completed her coursework. Gojo is anxious when they decide to see a horror film while Marin is terrified. When she finishes her schoolwork, Marin invites Gojo to the festival and he is taken aback by her appearance in a yukata, making her delighted. They watch the fireworks together and Gojo brings Marin home since her sandals have injured her feet. Marin calls Gojo from home because she is afraid after viewing another horror film. Gojo begins to fall asleep during the conversation, and when Marin notices that he's dozed off, she tells him that she loves him, and it all ends up with Marin going to sleep with happy and calming expressions on her face.